There's in a game! Dang. No too much pre-workout this morning. Regardless, some pre-workouts get you jacked, but this one will get you a little bit enhanced. Cliché? Maybe. But today we're talking about, not practice, but PES Enhanced. Their novel, as they say, new pre-workout. Let's take a look at what we got here today. This is Petey from SupplementReviews.com, by the way, in case you didn't know that by now. And uh, looking at the front of the container here, it's got the new stimulant feel, novel amino nitrate, triple phase pump system, and world-class taste. Well, we'll get to that in a second. But first off, let's start with taste and mixability. The stuff mixes really easily, gets a little bit foamy if you shake it too much in your shaker, and the taste, it promises world-class taste, but for me, the blue raspberry, it's a little bit strong, um, slightly bitter, but other than that, I mean, you're not gonna have any problem with it. It does have a very strong taste of artificial sweetener, at least in my opinion. <laughs> But it's nothing that I can't live with, and I don't drink pre-workouts for taste. It gets the job done. So taste and mixability overall gets a 9 out of 10. I mean, it's very basic. It gets the job done. You're not going to gag when you drink it, and it mixes well enough. There's little to no settling at all on the bottom, which is nice because everything is such a fine powder. Boom. 9 out of 10. Moving on to the supplement effects. Uh, I overall really like the way that they uh, decided to formulate this. Um, new pre-workout of theirs. The highlights for me at least is I've seen arginine nitrate and I've seen creatine nitrate but I've never seen leucine nitrate. So to see that as the primary pump component in a uh, product, I mean that's actually that's novel. I mean I like that a lot actually. Um, it's something that hasn't been thought of before and I mean, it's something that I think we might be seeing a lot more of. Moving on from there, citadine 5 diphosphocholine which has been shown in the studies I've looked at at least, to increase the blood flow to the brain. I'm assuming that their main focus is obviously since it's part of a pump product to increase vascularity all over the rest of the body, um, although the studies, to my knowledge, don't increase uh, just overall vascularity, but I like the inclusion in there. And obviously more blood flow is good to your brain too, I mean that's an added bonus. Uh, they're going to have a pomegranate fruit extract. I like it. It's an antioxidant blend. It's going to um, prevent the breakdown of cells and the free radicals, and it's going to be, a, I guess, this good for blood flow in general, I guess is how they put it. There you go. Looking at the rest of it, uh, the stimulant system, I really like. They don't have geranium stem in here. They went with norcaline and a few of the other um, common stimulants that are out there these days, and... Uh, the other one that stands out is, is the Johimbi Bark Extract, um, which is the NPY, N-P-Y-E, uh, trademark brand of theirs. And overall, I really like like the direction they went with the stimulant blend on it. It works really well, but of course I'll get to that in a second. For the added pump to it, we've got the Agmatine Sulfate, 500 milligrams per scoop. If you rock in two scoops, you'll get the full gram. Calcium Carbonate. Caffeine and hydrus, you know, for a little added stimulant measure in there. Add 125 milligrams of caffeine per scoop. And of course, vitamin C. Overall, it's a very simple blend um, when it comes down to it. But like, it's the inclusion, I guess, or the choosing of the ingredients is what makes this really special. So overall, I like the ingredient profile, and that's why I'm giving it a 9.3 out of 10. Um, it's very simple, yet it's novel. I love the um, leucine nitrate in it, and it, I mean, that can't be stated enough. It works really well in that department, which I'll get to in a second, but it's nothing that isn't in there. I like there's no geranium stem, I mean, because that's the direction everything's going, yet they still have a very potent stimulant-wise product. Getting on to the effectiveness. This is honestly one of the best pre-workouts I've used. Um, I went through the entire container and uh, two scoops of serving. I never really adapted to it, and I always had really good workouts on it. Even on mornings where I'd be up at 4.15 a.m. and uh, be at the gym at about 6.15, um, I never really have a drop off versus even taking it and training at night. And uh, so I, I like it even in the morning. And that says something about pre-workouts for me. I mean, some of them get you going. Some of them will just help you get that add a little extra wind at the end of the day. This one can get you up at any time you need it. So, um, they're all 20 workouts. I, um, yeah, of course, it also is going to depend on what you're training for. If you're training on higher reps, you're going to have better pumps versus somebody that's training in the lower rep range, aiming at strength. Just keep that in mind, uh, no matter what product you're using. 
But for this, purpose of this, especially strictly speaking arm day or anything with higher reps, um, the pumps of this stuff is very good. The Agmatine is going to be um, a big factor in this as well as um, putting in the uh, leucine nitrate. So keep that in mind. It's very good for pumps. The vascularity, really good as well. Obviously, if your body fat's lower, you're going to notice more vascularity than somebody else. So don't be bashing a product if you are fat showed. All right, I guess that's the way we're going to determine. You know, it's pretty straightforward to it, all right? You're going to notice more vascularity when you're leaner. This will bring out the vascularity, though, if you have it. I mean, it, it's, it makes them pop pretty good. I mean, I just got some spider webbing on the shoulders this morning when I was um, doing a shoulder workout. It's pretty sick. Um, I'm on my second container of this, by the way. I like it that much. So overall, um, the effectiveness of this, I gave it a 9.5 out of 10. I really loved it. I mean, the, the focus is awesome. The pumps are good. And it just worked well over and over and over. And I never really got tired of it, which is a good thing. Um, I guess, you know, the last thing to talk about is the value. It's a very good product. You get 40 scoops per container. And I believe this is about 35 bucks. Um, depending on where you buy it. Of course, I know somebody's going to comment and say, oh, it's this price here. I don't care. All right, it depends on where you buy it. So for simplicity's sake, if you're looking at just under a dollar per serving, um, it's a pretty good deal. It's about the same price as any other pre-workout, but the thing you got to keep in mind is if you're rocking two scoops of this, the 40 serving container is only going to last you 20. So you're going to be rocking two scoops a day. It's going to last you 20 workouts five or ten workouts a week, it's going to last you one month on the dot. Um, so that's something to keep in mind. The value, I really like the ingredients. It's priced really well for what it is. It's nothing above average in terms of value, but it's not below. So it's just going to get an average 8.9 out of 10. I mean, it's not a ridiculous product. All right, so it's pretty simple in terms of value. It's a, If you like it, which I think you will, um, you'll feel it's better value than you know a crappy product. Finally, overall, I gave this a 9.3 out of 10. It was a very well thought out and put together product. It's something novel, it's something new. Well, who doesn't like trying a new pre-workout? And if you're looking to mix it up, I think this might just be one of your new favorite pre-workouts. It gets the job done and uh, it's sick. I, I like it. <laughs> it's a, it's a, it is a product that I will be buying Again, I got this for the expert review team, but I will be buying it on my own um, for the for new foreseeable future. It's one of my favorite pre-workouts aside from C4 and um, Muscle Marinade, and it works really well for me, and that's why I like it. So if you're looking for a new pre-workout, don't hesitate to try it. All right, everybody, this has been PD from SupplementReviews.com. Make sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, plus one on Google+, Plus, all that good social media stuff. If you have anything else, post it in the social media section of the forum. And other than that, y'all have a good day.